I recently had the opportunity to spend some time in Dubai. The most populous city in the United Arab Emirates, Dubai offers an interesting mix of new and old and caters to both business and tourism. As the name implies, the hotel is located in Dubai's financial district, close to the Museum of the Future, as well as the Burj Khalifa and the Dubai Mall. If you're interested in getting an inside look at my room, the breakfast, and the amenities at the Waldorf Astoria Dubai International Financial Center, I hope you'll come along with me today. The Waldorf Astoria is part of the Hilton brand, so I was able to book the nights with free night rewards from Hilton that I had earned through my American Express Hilton Honors business card. I was able to book the King Deluxe Room with my certificates, but then I found out at check-in that due to my gold status with Hilton, I'd been given an upgrade to a King Premier Room with Skyline View. I also received free breakfast both days thanks to my Hilton status. The cash price for the room would have been $494 per night without breakfast and $536 per night with breakfast, so I felt like this was a good redemption. The hotel occupies floors 18 to 55 of the Burj Daman, a large skyscraper that also contains offices, restaurants, and shops. When you enter the building, you'll see the Waldorf Astoria sign pretty quickly. I was greeted upon arrival and guided to the front desk. I was glad for this courtesy because the path to the elevators can actually be a little confusing if it's your first time there. As we wound our way to the elevators, I was impressed with the design aesthetic of the space. The marble, the accents of bronze, brass, and ebony, the artwork and flower arrangements, and the dark wood. Hotel reception is on the 18th floor. So I took the elevator to the 18th floor and turned left as I exited the elevator bank. Just like the entrance downstairs, the lobby and reception space managed to convey an elegant yet relaxing aesthetic. Check-in was friendly, informative, and fast, and before long I was headed to my room on the 30th floor. When you enter the King Premier Room, there's a full-length mirror that immediately gives a sense of brightness to the space. The mirror also creates an interesting illusion with the half table and chair. On the right-hand side are two large storage closets that lead to the bathroom, which was a stunning mix of marble and wood. There are sinks on both sides of the room. The one by the bathtub contains drinking glasses, hand soap, and washcloths while the sink near the shower provides a small box with a drawer that opens to reveal a variety of useful bathroom amenities. There's also hand wash and mouth wash on the other side. The shower features both an overhead rain shower head and a handheld, and provides Aesop shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. And the Waldorf Astoria bathrobe ranks up there as my favorite of all hotel robes. Across from the shower is a private space with a toilet and a bidet. And for those of you who enjoy a relaxing soak, there's a bathtub with a handheld shower head available as well. The main room is beautiful, open, and full of light. The color scheme is relaxing. The white linens are crisp and comfortable. And overall, the room is a pleasing blend of style and comfort. The space is also very functional, with a small sofa and coffee table. A table with two chairs, a bookcase to make the space feel homier, a large screen television, and a large comfortable ottoman at the foot of the bed. But my favorite part of the room was the view.
Floor to ceiling windows bring in so much light and provide stunning views of Dubai's financial district, including the Museum of the Future. I was also so impressed with the amount of storage in the room. The two floor to ceiling storage closets near the bathroom provide so many options. A safe, shelves, drawers, a luggage rack, and a place to hang your clothes. In the main room, there's a bench for holding your suitcase that opens up for even more storage. And then there's a pantry cabinet that houses everything you need for the complimentary coffee and tea service. as well as a mini bar with items you need to pay for. On the table there was a note to welcome me and a plate of cookies and chocolates that I can confirm were so good. I thought that was a really nice touch. Another nice touch was the turndown service housekeeping automatically provided, complete with a pillow menu. And as you can see, the night views were simply stunning. Breakfast is served on the 18th floor near reception at the Bull and Bear. This restaurant was designed to replicate the original in New York City. The design of the space and the views are top notch. For my complimentary breakfast, I was informed that I could order anything from the menu and also help myself to the generous buffet service. The menu offered plenty of options, as did the buffet. I found all the food to be really delicious. In terms of complimentary breakfasts, it was one of the better ones I've had. But maybe the best thing about the breakfast was the service. Everyone was so kind and they went out of their way to make me feel welcome. On my last morning there, they even presented me with a special message. It's touches like this that make me feel likely to return when I'm in Dubai again. Hotel amenities are all on the 18th floor. They include a basic workout room with free weights, treadmills, workout machines, and plenty of water and towels. There's also a luxury spa offering a wide range of services. But the best feature was Sandro, the rooftop lounge and pool on the 18th floor. To get there, you walk through the lounge area to the right of the reception desk, and then follow the back hallway outside. Santro takes its name and inspiration from San Tropez on the French Riviera. It combines a slice of relaxed Mediterranean living with sweeping views of Dubai, and somehow it works. You can cool off in the pool, relax in one of the many lounge chairs, enjoy the view, or order something to eat or drink from the pool bar. 
If you enjoyed this tour and review, let me know in the comments. And if you've had a chance to try this Waldorf Astoria yourself, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you enjoy content like this, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, happy travels.